What's up guys, it's Kira here and welcome back to my channel. Now it might not look very different on screen, but I have moved apartments and I'm in an entirely new room and this is an entirely new setup. So I'm really, really happy to finally be settled in the new place. It's all sorted. I've got my filming spots kind of set up. And in the meantime, in the moving time, I made quite a few orders online for spring summer. And right now as I'm filming this, there is sunshine, there's loads of beautiful light in the room. We're getting, I don't know how many days this is gonna last for, probably not very long, but we're getting a few days of good weather, which is amazing. So I'm taking advantage of it, and I'm gonna show you guys all of the bits that I've gotten in for spring summer. Now my last video was a spring transitional haul, and it was a bit more, of a moving into the spring, but all of these are very spring summer. There's a lot of denims, there's a lot of light colors, there's a lot of t-shirts. As you can see, there's a lot of stripes here. And there are some gorgeous summer dresses as well. And there are some really, really cool accessories and like basket bags and stuff as well. So this is very spring summer. So I hope you guys are ready. I'm going to do a try on as per usual. So you'll get a look at everything. Um, I'm pretty sure everything is still available to buy. And I wanted to get this haul up as quickly as possible so you guys could still go out and purchase things if you wanted to. So let's get straight into it. The brands that I have featured in this haul are Shopbop, New Look and Romwe and I think there are one or two other pieces as well that I've included in but those are the bulk of the brands that I'm looking at. So I'm going to get started. I think I'm going to start on this side of the rail. As you can see there's quite a few t-shirts here and in my last haul I did have some t-shirts from Shein but I decided to place another order on a different website. This one is called Romwe. It's still really really affordable and it really is my favorite place to get t-shirts. T-shirts really are one of my absolute favorite things to wear and I do feel like when it comes to spending versus saving I feel like t-shirts are something that you should save on. If you're getting like a little slogan t-shirt or something fun it's not something you want to spend too much money on. So the first one that I got is actually the white version of a yellow t-shirt that I featured in my last haul. This says Bliss and Mischief, home of the world's largest cactus. And it's just a really cute red and white slogan tee. I can easily wear this with blazers, with denims, with shorts. This would just work for any occasion. It's so casual. I mean, obviously it wouldn't work for a dressy occasion, but any casual occasion is perfect. Um, the material is actually really soft. The sizing is really good. I went for a medium in pretty much all of these t-shirts because I like a slight oversized fit. The next one I picked up is this really simple t-shirt with the cherry icons on it. They're really cute. It's a little bit flirty, it's a bit silly, but I just think it's really adorable. And I mean, it would go so, so nicely with so much that I have in my wardrobe already. So yeah, I thought this one was really cute. And I actually think those really playful tops that have like the boobs on them and stuff are so adorable. I just haven't gotten around to picking up one yet, but this one I absolutely love. Next up, I picked up another kind of Americana style t-shirt and this one's says Arizona. I love the colors on it. I feel like it's really cute and kind of again like that Americana style which is just really adorable for the summertime. It also has this cool kind of distressed detailing on the collar and the material is kind of like a vintage wash. It's a little bit see-through. Well it's actually not too see-through but it's a little bit transparent I suppose. It's just like a light t-shirt that looks like it's vintage but it's not. <laughs> so I picked up another white t-shirt with this really lovely embroidered rose detail on the side. You may remember I had this t-shirt in pink from my last haul but I absolutely loved it and wanted to get it in another color. The fabric is really nice and light and it just sits really nicely on and again I would have gotten this one in a size medium and it's a really nice slightly oversized fit. Next up in the t-shirts something a little bit different for me. I decided to pick up this kind of polo jersey style. I have nothing like this in my wardrobe, but I thought it would be a nice one to try out for summertime. I feel like this would look really nice with overalls or like a dungaree dress or even on its own with the right pair of jeans. I'm actually wearing like a dark jean and I think that would work better than a blue denim. I think maybe blue on blue might be too much or it could work, I'm not sure. But I just thought it was really cute. And again, I think this comes in other colors, but I thought the baby blue would be lovely for summertime. It's really cute. So now I'm gonna move on to striped shirts. And <laughs> I know it seems like I have quite a lot here, but I live in striped t-shirts. I absolutely love them. And in my opinion, Shein and Romwe do the best ones. They're always really, really affordable. The fit is always really nice. The fabric is good too. And I just find that I can't go wrong with them. So I picked up another few ones because I do love having a mix of styles and lengths and sizes because they really are the item of clothing that I probably wear more than anything else. First one is a slightly longer sleeved striped shirt. It's 
a little bit more kind of coverage it's a little bit longer it's actually a slightly thicker material so it would have a little bit of warmth in it it's a perfect t-shirt for wearing if I'm just chilling out working from home or if I wanted to do just a really simple striped shirt and jean or blazer I just thought it was really cute now we have another striped long sleeve t-shirt which is very similar but not the same as the one before and again it is a long sleeve and it's actually quite cropped as well and I think this would look really really nice with a pair of high-waisted jeans it's just so simple it's a top that you can just throw on for anything and I think it's really really chic. Okay again another striped tee. I decided to go for this kind of tighter fit plain black and white striped top and again this is something that I don't have one quite like this in my wardrobe. I wear them so so much so it was a no-brainer for me to pick this up. This one I had in the red version already and I absolutely loved it and again you're talking maybe five or six euros so I decided I would pick up the blue striped version as well because it will definitely get worn. Another striped combo that I absolutely love is the navy and red and again I absolutely love the color of this one this would be really really nice coming into the darker seasons as well but I think it's really cute for the summertime too and again I went for a medium and pretty much all these t-shirts the sizing is perfect and you just can't beat the price it's so affordable another color combo I love in t-shirts is red and white and I particularly love the black piping on this one I think it stands out really really well this one also has that nice slouch shoulder detail so it really does give that boyfriend kind of oversized casual fit to it and I love how this looks on. So my final striped t-shirt, I finally come to the end of them, is this gorgeous white and multicolor striped one. This to me feels so 70s. I think it's so so cute. I would love to wear this with overalls even with like high-waisted trousers that are belted it's just giving me all the 70s vibes it's super cute and it's perfect for summertime so that's all for t-shirts and I know you must think I'm absolutely crazy but these are the things that I wear more than anything in my wardrobe so it makes sense for me to have lots of different options of them and I absolutely love all of those so that's my justification and I'm standing by it <laughs> so next up I'm gonna look at summer dresses and I have two absolutely gorgeous dresses here from New Look that I picked up just a few days ago and they are so stunning. This to me feels very Reformation. It actually looks very similar to some dresses that Topshop have at the moment that are much more expensive. This one was an absolute steal. It was $24.99 and it fits like an absolute dream. I went for a size eight in this and I love the way it fits. It's like nipped in just at the right part. What? I love how it cinches in just at the right parts at the waist and then it flares out really nicely. It has the beautiful um, kind of acetate brown buttons that we're seeing so, so much of in spring summer. And it's got that nice kind of linen-y material as well. It just ticks all the boxes for me. And I just think it's really feminine and floaty and just a lovely, lovely summer tea dress. I can never pass up a nice tea dress. They're like my favorite thing to wear in the warmer months. Um, a tea dress and like a blazer or a cardigan. So yeah, I thought this was really, really cute and I liked it so much that I actually got it in the yellow as well. I think yellow is set to be what red was last summer. It's just taking over. We're seeing it everywhere on the high street with the exact same fit, the exact same style. So I just couldn't pass it up and I absolutely love it. I can't wait to wear this with a little basket bag, a pair of espadrilles and just live my best summer life for the whole week of summer that we get here in Ireland, let's face it. It'll be perfect for holidays as well. If we don't get the weather here, I will wear it abroad. So now we're moving into the denim segment of this haul and my next dress is from New Look and I absolutely love this. This is this really, really cute denim button down dungaree dress or overall dress, whatever you want to call it. So this is a style that I was seeing on River Island, on Mango, on a bunch of different websites. I was very tempted by the Mango one which is a few euros more expensive than this, but they actually didn't have my size in it. I was looking for a size eight and I wanted it to be snug. So I decided to go for the new look version, which was actually really affordable. I think it was about 32 and I just love it. It's so, so nice. And again, this is something that you can wear so many ways this summer. You can obviously style this without a t-shirt and just wear it as is, but you can also wear it over t-shirts, over blouses. It just gives that really beautiful kind of Jane Birkin edge. 60s flirty feminine summer look that I just love so 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 much so this was definitely something that I wanted to pick up for the summer months and I cannot wait to style this into lots of different looks I love it so sticking with denim I also have a gorgeous denim jacket that I picked up on Shopbop that I wanted to show you guys this is so so nice now it's very distressed I actually didn't realize how distressed it was until it arrived it's really distressed at the back 
Um, I do like it, but I don't know. I might try and sew this or patch this up, but the front I really, really like. And this is by Levi's and they just do such nice denim. I have so many pairs of Levi's jeans already. I love their fit. I love the quality and I love how they wear over time. So when I wanted to get a new denim jacket for summer, it was kind of a no brainer to opt for a Levi's one. Now this was a little bit more expensive. It was over the hundred euro mark, but I feel like this is something that you can spend a little bit more on. Again, when I'm looking at t-shirts, I'm happy to get ones that are more cheap and cheerful whereas when it comes to things like jeans jackets stuff that I'm going to be wearing a lot and that kind of needs to be better quality I'm so happy to spend a little bit more on so really really like this one and I'm so excited to wear it with all the dresses and t-shirts that I just showed denim. you I have a few other denim pieces that I picked up from shop up and they're actually all by Levi's which is amazing so I'm going to show you what I got the first thing is a pair of high-waisted shorts these are short shorts they are just the right length that if they were any shorter, they would definitely be too short. I mean, if you wanna rock like a pair of booty skimming shorts, more power to you, but I just can't do that right now. I just, I would feel too uncomfortable. So this for me is just about as short as I'll probably go. I don't know what I go that much shorter. I love on the back how you can see the pockets are distressed. It's got the gorgeous Levi logo and it just fits really, really nicely. It's the perfect fit around the waist. It's really hard to get that right with shorts, especially if you're buying online. But I find that once I know my waist size in Levi's, which I do, then it's really easy to choose from the same brand because it's just kind of always gonna be the same size. So this is perfect. And these are also the wedgie shorts. So the jeans that I have from Levi's already are all wedgie fit denim and it sounds crazy but they're so flattering on your bum. They basically have this cut that they like wedgie a tiny little bit which again sounds crazy but it just has this like lifting effect. It's really nice. So these have the same kind of vibe going on which I really really like and they're actually not uncomfortable. The wedgie fit is not, it doesn't feel like a wedgie because it's kind of just on the bum. I don't know, you have to try them on for yourself to see. Just trust me on this, they're good for the bum. So yeah, really, really like this. I feel like these will be my go-to summer short for like holidays or festivals or anything like that. And I feel like when you go for a classic brand like Levi's and you spend that tiny bit more, you're getting a staple that you can just wear year after year. And I do feel like these kind of get better with age as well. The bit more distressed they look, the better. So yeah, I love these. So next up in my Levi's haul, I picked up another pair of wedgie fit jeans. Now these are the high rise, snug through hip and thigh and a tapered leg. These fit like a dream. These are kind of like a mom style. They taper down. They're not too loose, but they're certainly not tight either. But the way these fit on the bum and thighs and even on like the crotch area is very good. And let me just talk about that for a second. You know when you get a pair of non-stretch high-waisted denim, like a really good pair of mom jeans, and there's this kind of situation at the front where there's a little bit of camel toe, it's a little bit uncomfortable, that's always a pain. And you can never really tell until you try something on, like how it's gonna fit and how it's gonna fit there. But these, I feel like whatever way they're made, they just don't bunch around there, which is really nice. So I'm really happy with them. And that's never something that I would have outright looked for but I'm here to report to you guys that they're really nice on that department. So I feel like they just don't sit in a certain way that you're kind of, I don't know, you know what I mean. You'll understand if you're a woman. I really feel like these are going to be my go-to summer jeans. They're comfortable, they're flattering. They're that nice light wash that will literally go with everything. So I feel like these are going to be permanently attached to my legs and I'm okay with that. Now my final pair of Levi's are these guys and I know they look kind of similar but these are actually the original fit 501 and they're tapered. So these are a little bit more cropped, they've got a little bit more distressing on them and they sit differently on the hips. These as you can see are wider looking, they're still in the exact same size, they're in a size 27 but because these sit differently, they're not up on your waist, they're on your hips, they look a little bit wider and they sit quite nicely. These have a little bit more give in them which I quite like. Um, I love wearing like tight fitted high waisted jeans but sometimes you just want a little bit more give depending on what kind of outfit you're wearing and it just sometimes it's just nicer to have something like this. So these again are a really really good fit. I feel like these will wash and wear really really well over time. Um, these are probably more of a casual comfortable like if I was going for a long drive I would wear these whereas the high-waisted ones you might wear those if you want if you're standing more you don't know if that makes sense like high-waisted jeans you're not exactly going to chill out in them so these are more comfortable for sure um, but the other pair are not uncomfortable if you know what I mean <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm probably making absolutely no sense, but you know what I mean. They're more like tight, holding you in. These are a little bit kind of, they have a little bit more of a slouch, but they're still really, really flattering. And you know what? You're gonna see what they look like in the try-on anyway, so I'm just over explaining. But yeah, really, really happy with both of those jeans and the shorts as well. And I can't wait to get the weather to wear them. <gasps> So excited for summer. So before I move on to accessories, and there are a lot of accessories in this haul, I wanted to show you my last pair of bottoms. These are from Romwe. Obviously, the, all the t-shirts that I showed you are from there. So this is a really, really cute plaid mini skirt. Now, this is a mini skirt. It is short. And again, the likes of Romwe, they are an Asian website. So I don't know if they're particularly made for taller Irish women, but I think it's just about okay. I mean, I am okay with a mini skirt. I quite like wearing like a big baggy oversized t-shirt and then like a cute little mini. I always like balance it off with the top part. So for me, I think it's fun and cute. I always wear bicycle shorts underneath these. I have like a favorite three pairs of the same bicycle short and they are so comfy and they're perfect for when you're wearing, you know, those short tea dresses or short kind of floaty skirts in the wind. In Ireland, it's not okay. So I actually, do you know what? I'll link some similar versions. They're such a wardrobe staple for me in the summer and I have them on under every single dress or like floaty skirt, which is why I have multiple versions of them. But I do think this is still a good length. Now I'm not too fond of the belt. I think I probably will remove the belt. It does come with it, which is nice, but I'm not too gone on it. But I do think this would look really, really nice styled with like an oversized t-shirt and a pair of ankle boots or trainers. I think it would look really, really cute. Okay, so next up I'm gonna move on to accessories and I have quite a few like really, really lovely summery bits. You will see that there is a mix between more expensive versus very affordable and I will explain as to why I choose to kind of spend versus save on these kinds of accessories. So I'm just gonna get stuck into it and I'm gonna start off with one of the slightly more expensive purchases and it is this absolutely gorgeous vintage Fendi. Ah, look how cute it is. <gasps> Obsessed. I just love this so much. Now, I've been on the hunt for a really nice vintage Fendi for probably about six months. I really just kept delaying and delaying purchasing it, but I was stalking so many of them online. Now, I ended up purchasing this on eBay. There are loads of amazing places you can go to online to get vintage designer. You've got the likes of Vestier Collective. You've got Irish brands like Shopa Ella. They have websites as well, where sometimes for me, I like going on eBay because I've been on eBay since I was like 17. And there's a few really good vintage sellers uh, that you can find really good bargains on. So this one was really, really affordable. And they don't make this style of bag anymore in Fendi. Of course, this is a vintage piece, but they have re-released this monogram print. So you're seeing this exact print on so many bags, so many jackets. It's like part of the whole logomania movement that we're seeing over the past few years. So this really was a steal. Now, another reason why it was such a bargain is because this strap here, needs to be glued so it's kind of separated from itself here which i really don't mind i think i will bring it to a cobbler and get them to glue it because it would be a very easy and inexpensive job but i'm still so happy with it now i obviously can't link you guys to this exact one because it's sold but what i will do is link you to some listings for different vintage fendies that are available what I will recommend is of course do your research, like definitely buy from known sellers that have really good feedback. And you know, if something seems good, too good to be true, it could be, you know, you don't wanna buy fakes, even with vintage, you don't wanna waste your money. So just do your own kind of research and make sure that you are buying, you know, something authentic. But if you keep an eye on things, you can find really good bargains. And this was definitely one of them. And I love it. I love it partially because it's a little tacky, if that makes sense. Like I love, the Fendi logo because it's so obviously a logo, if that makes any sense. I just think it's cute and fun and it was really affordable as opposed to going in and buying a Fendi bag in the shop, which would put you back like two grand, if not more. Anyway, that's the first bag that I'm gonna show you, but you'll be happy to know that the other bags that I featured are very affordable. I'm talking like under 15 euro affordable. So I'm gonna show you which ones I picked so again, up. Again, these bags I picked up on Romwe and it's just so affordable for very like trend led bags. So the first thing that I got is this gorgeous little basket bag for summer. It's so cute. Now the price of this was like, I think it was under 10 euro, really, really affordable. And it's just a really cute 
summer bag. It's completely open. I've actually got it stuffed with some boxes and stuffing um, to make it hold its shape because when it arrived, it was a little bit squished, but it's shaping up nicely and it's perfect for like a really simple outfit. I mean, you can see this with tea dresses, summer dresses, espadrilles. It's just that whole basket bag vibe and I thought it was adorable. Next up, I have a transparent bag and that is very much a Marmite trend. Some of you might absolutely hate this. That's all right. This is one of those completely see-through bags bags and they're just so bizarre but I kind of love them. I also love this wooden handle. I think this is very cute and very like trendy at the moment and again you're getting this for like just a really affordable price so if it's a trend that you're kind of unsure about and you want to play with it makes sense to forego getting a designer version and to opt for something more affordable instead. So again this is stuffed with a box just to help it kind of hold its shape as when it arrived it was also a little bit squished but it has this little pouch on the inside that you can kind of it's like a drawstring so you can have all your your bits in here so it covers it so at least if it's full of like tampons and condoms then nobody needs to know so it's really cute it's different um if you like this kind of thing i mean it is such an affordable version of it um i do really like it and i'm interested to see how i will style it i do think it would go really nicely with all the summary bits that i've just shown you so i'm probably going to stick with that and keep this be the standout thing i think i would let this do the talking in the outfit so the next summer bag i picked up is this little basket bag. Now again, this is a trend that I absolutely adore. It's just completely rinsed from Jane Birkin. It's so cute, it's so summery, but the basket bags don't come cheap. They have them on Topshop, they have them, you know, on Mango. They're usually about 50 or 60 euro. And I mean, the price is justified because there's a lot of work that goes into them. They really are like a beautiful woven basket bag. So rather than forking out that for one of the bags that I might not have for the next few years, I decided to go for something more affordable. And this is more of a basket bag effect. It's a lot softer. Again, it's stuffed to keep its shape, but it still gives that gorgeous under the arm basket vibe. Now, if you want to go for a more wicker, tough basket bag, I would totally recommend checking out Etsy because you're supporting a, an independent seller, which is super, they're handmade. And price-wise, they're usually around the same as what you're paying on the high street. So if you do want to get a really cute basket bag, I will link some Etsy sellers below that do them. Um, but this one was perfect for me. It was super affordable. It's absolutely gorgeous. And again, it just, screams summer. I mean, I just want to be frolicking down a field with like carrots and apples falling out of this and living my best summer life. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> another bag that I picked up, another bag that I picked up, which was an absolute steal. I'm talking, I think it was like under five euro, is this net bag. Now again, this is a trend that is so popular at the moment and some high street brands are selling them for like 25, 30 euro. And this is a trend that comes from, I don't know, is it like France or Europe, where you buy these for literally a euro and people use them to carry their apples, their fruit, their, their vegetables. So for me, I wasn't really happy paying that much. So I was able to find one for a seriously affordable price. And obviously it is a very simple bag. I mean, it literally is just net. It's very cute, very summery. Again, very French, very Jane Birkin. So of course I was totally sold. Another basket bag that I absolutely love is this one, which I picked up in pennies. Now this one is really handy because it has a long strap. So it's great for those days where you're a bit more on the go, where you don't want, you know, one of those kind of handle, baskety ones. This one is a little bit more practical. What I also love about it is it has a drawstring tassel here so you can tie it up so basically your stuff isn't falling out. I think sometimes with basket bags they're a real security issue like you've got your phone, your keys, your wallet and they're just hanging out of the bag. If you don't have a Pennies or a Primark near you or if it is sold out then I actually did see this one on Romwe as well. They were selling it for about eight euro and it looks exactly the same. It must be the same bag. So the last bag in my haul is a bit of an experiment. It's a little bit weird. I'm still not 100% sure if I like it. I'm not gonna lie. And I had to stuff it because when it came, it was a bit mangled. So I'm going to show you guys it and then I'm gonna take out the stuffing. So it is this. So it's the acetone plastic translucent bag that we've seen similar versions of, you know, all over Instagram. There's a few really cool designers that are doing 
bags like this. So I wanted to try it out. It kind of looks like a jellyfish or some sort of sea creature. This channel is all about me trying out different trends, giving you guys inspiration on how to put outfits together, helping you find trends and work them into your wardrobe in affordable ways. And you know, also giving advice on investing in your wardrobe more. So for something like this, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna try it out and see if it works. And I think it might. So you let me know what you think, if you think it's absolutely horrific or if you think it's super cute. I am undecided. Okay, so next up I'm going to move on to shoes and I have a pair of ankle boots that I'm so excited to show you guys because I have wanted to get a pair of these boots for years and I finally bit the bullet on Shopbop. They were having an amazing sale. So I picked up a pair of stunning toga pulla ankle boots and these like I just need to get in so you guys can see the detail so these are a deep green suede and they have this beautiful embossed detail it's kind of like a western um emblem style and then they have these incredible buckles and they have the buckles all the way up and then they have a deliciously pointed toe and you probably know already that I love a pointed toe on an ankle boot the pointier the better so again, these are very much more on the expensive side, but for me, ankle boots and footwear, I will live in these and they're already comfy. I mean, I don't feel like there's gonna be much breaking in needed. Um, Size-wise, they were perfect. I would stay true to size. Sometimes with American shoes and brands, you can be unsure, but for these, I went for my true size. So I really think that these are going to be a favorite, not just this spring, summer, or even autumn, winter, because look, they would be so perfect for autumn, winter but for other seasons to come as well because they are such good quality. I personally quite like mixing high-end and affordable pieces into the hauls. I think it's kind of nice to show you guys that you can kind of mix and match, that you can spend here and save here. But let me know what you think if you'd rather me do an affordable haul versus a more kind of designer, more investment haul. Let me know. I would love to know what you guys think. So another pair of shoes that I picked up that are not so much an investment, but they are a very good brand are Supergas. I think they're pronounced Supergas. I always thought it was Superga on until I heard lots of people saying Superga. So anyway, they're these epic platform canvas trainers and I just love this style. I think it's so cute and summery and very much goes with all of the stuff that I've just showed you. I think they're so sweet. And baby blue is such a beautiful color for summer. These really remind me of the Puma uh, platforms that I picked up on JD Sports last summer and those served me so well. I love them. They're actually a little bit wrecked now. I wore them so much, but these are the perfect new addition and they're such a summer shoe. They do have these in lots of different colors. You can get pink. You can actually get the cutest espadrille platform ones and I do really, really like those, but they're even higher than this. So I don't know if that make me too tall, but um, I love them. So now we're moving on to smaller accessories and I have two pairs of sunglasses that I picked up. Always a good thing to do for summertime. And this one is a pair of Ray-Bans. The pair that I picked up are the absolutely fabulous and so bloody trendy um, hexagon shape. Now I'm just gonna try and stuff these on my face because I have pins in my hair for my Baker Boy cap. So this is probably gonna look a bit weird, but I absolutely love these. And I have the round shade circular versions of these. I got them years ago and I just wear them constantly. So I decided I would update it and go for the hexagon shape. Is it that much different? Not really, but it's different enough for me to want it. And I wear the other pair so, so, so much. So I thought I would go for this. So the other pair of sunglasses that I picked up are a little bit more of a trendy pair and they are by the brand Le Specs that do really nice glasses. They're the ones who started the massive trend of the pointed cat eye. That was the collaboration can't remember the person's name, but anyway, that sunglasses that everyone is wearing now spawned from this brand. So this is a very bold, do you know what? It's gonna look so silly with my hat, but I'm gonna stuff it on anyway. These are the very bold, very oversized, quite Celine-esque Le Specs. Now these are quite affordable. I think they were about 60, which for a really good quality pair of like proper lenses is good. Um, they look very like Celine. They actually look a lot like the Saint Laurent lenses that I was really tempted to get, but they're about 350 euro and these are 60. So, you know, I made a decision. So the very last thing in my haul is a hat from Shopbop and I'm so excited about it because if you haven't already noticed, I live in Baker Boy caps. They are perfect for hiding bad hair days. They're just so handy. They add a little something to your outfit. 
and I just am obsessed with them and I have way too many of them but it's coming into summer and this is like a felt kind of wool baker boy hat and they get quite hot it gets quite muggy up here so this one is the perfect alternative. It's by Brixton, which is a really great hat brand. Um, they're a little bit on the more expensive side. They often do sales, but they, they can be more expensive. I have a red Baker Boy from Brixton that I love, but this one was on sale, so it's a little bit cheaper and it's gorgeous. What I love about this is that it's that really light, gauzy material that those summery fedoras are made out of, and it's so cute. Now you can wear this with like a high crown like this, or you can flatten it down and wear it a little bit more slouchy and <laughs> so cute how it pops up. It's so lovely. And again, this is going to be my summer, my summer Baker Boy cap because I absolutely love them. I think they suit me. Maybe they don't, but I think they suit me. And I just love the idea of this with like a summer dress, especially when you have windy days and it just wrecks your hair. Having something like this, this is the best thing to wear if it's a windy day or if it's raining because it keeps everything in place. So this is going to be my go-to. I absolutely adore it. So that is everything from my rather big spring summer haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the mix of more kind of affordable and then a little bit more high-end pieces. And for me, again, it's all about mixing it up some things I like to save on some things I like to spend a little bit more on and it's always about how many wears I'll get out of them the quality that I'm looking for so I hope I've given you guys some good options on both sides as always I've linked absolutely everything in the description below so make sure and check that out before you go all the links will be there if anything is sold out I will have alternative versions there so definitely before you click out go and check that out because all of the info will be there if you liked this video and you'd like to see more haul videos like this then do give me a thumbs up so I know and if you have not already then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will put a link up here. It's super easy to do. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye!